हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मेकेनिज्म ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक एसिड सिक्रीशन बाय पेराइटल सेल्स नाउ पेराइटल सेल्स आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑक्सेंटिक सेल्स नाउ एज वी ऑल नो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ स्टमक इज टू रिसीव फूड एंड टू सिक्रीट द गैस्ट्रिक जूस नाउ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक जूस इज हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड दैट इज एच और द गैस्ट्रिक एसिड नाउ गैस्ट्रिक एसिड एक्टिवेट्स पेप्सिनोजन टू पेप्सिन and uh, pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme that digests the proteins found in the food now uh, gastric acid is secreted by the parietal cells and these parietal cells uh, they are located in the gastric glands and these gastric glands they are found in the mucosal lining and uh, that is in the wall uh, they are found in the mucosal lining of fundus uh, that is a dome shaped region of the stomach and they are found in the mucosal lining of uh, body region of the stomach now mucosal lining is the innermost lining of the wall of the stomach now let's uh, see how uh, this hydrochloric acid or gastric acid is produced by the uh, parietal cells now this is the structure of the parietal cell and uh, this parietal cell is located in the gastric gland and uh, the gastric glands are found in the uh, mucosa uh, of the wall of the stomach now parietal cells possess uh, hydrogen potassium ATPase that is an enzyme or a protein and also called as a proton pump now this hydrogen potassium ATPase it secretes um, hydrogen ions uh, and these hydrogen ions then associate with the chloride ions to produce hydrochloric acid Uh, and this hydrochloric acid is secreted in the gastric pit of the gastric glands and from there it is released in the lumen of the stomach now let's discuss the mechanism first of all water and carbon dioxide uh, they combine with each other in the cytoplasm of parietal cell to produce the carbonic acid now this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme called as carbonic anhydrase now this carbonic acid Uh, then spontaneously dissociates into hydrogen ions and bicarbonate ions now this hydrogen ion that is formed in the cytoplasm of parietal cell it is transported out of the parietal cell by hydrogen potassium ATPase pump in exchange of the potassium ions that is hydrogen ions move outside the parietal cell whereas potassium ions move inside the parietal cells so potassium ions are transported in the cytoplasm of parietal cells and this pump it uses atp as a source of energy and thus it is called as hydrogen potassium atpase pump so this is how hydrogen hydrogen ions are transported outside the parietal cells or secreted by the parietal cells now on the other hand bicarbonate ions they are transported out of the cytoplasm of parietal cells in the blood by an anion exchanger now this anion exchanger which is shown here in the green color is a transporter protein and it transports bicarbonate ions in the blood while chloride ions are transported in the cytoplasm of parietal cells now these potassium ions and chloride ions then diffuse out of the parietal cells and here hydrogen ions combine with the chloride ions to produce the gastric acid or the hydrochloric acid so this is how parietal cells secrete hydrochloric acid in the gastric pit of the gastric glands from where it is released in the lumen of stomach as a part of gastric juice so uh, this is in brief uh, the mechanism by which parietal cells produce hydrochloric acid or gastric acid and uh, if you find the video helpful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video